Coverage of the ARA show is brought to you by REN1 in association with Trip Marketing. Hi there, my name is Nick White. I work for JCB Compact Products in the UK and I'm over here to uh, talk to everyone about this uh, electric machine. Awesome, so what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at uh, the next generation uh, one to two ton range that JCB s supply and this is uh, an electric version of our 1.9 ton capacity diesel machine that, in an electric form. Awesome, so how did this come about uh, and why is electric so important? Well, electric is, is definitely the way forward. It's, uh, a very, it's a specialist market nowadays and there's a lot of interest in uh, in providing electric equipment across the ex uh, across uh, this this type of operation to ensure that uh, emissions, both from a, a diesel perspective and also noise emissions, are reduced and eliminated if possible. What sort of led the company to decide to be you know such a groundbreaker in making an electric excavator when no one else seems to be doing that? Either? Oh, I think uh, uh, the uh, the JCB family have always been uh, innovators when it comes to uh, excavators and. Uh, and uh, construction equipment, and I think this is just proves that they're, they're right there at the forefront of uh, development and technology. Awesome. So, sorry, just to clarify for me, is this a hybrid model? Absolutely not. This is a, this is a pure electric machine. So it's based on our one to two ton range. It's got the same undercarriage and bodywork and uh, what we call the 1.9 ton machine. Right on. Um, it's unique because it's, we've removed the internal combustion engine, to, we've taken out a diesel engine and we've put in a set of batteries and a, an electric motor and that, that drives and operates the machine. It's, it's identical in, in terms of performance, so you get exactly the same uh, breakout force at the, at the front end here, which is about 4,000 pounds in, in US um, and no, uh, no degra degradation in power at, at all compared to a standard diesel diesel operating machine. Last? What are the operating elements? Okay, so the batteries are very uh, very standard automotive batteries and uh, we've got three uh, lithium ion batteries inside this unit and they work um, are, and will give you about eight to ten hours operating within for, for the machine which is a, sort of a, a, the general day's worth of work that you'd, you'd have on the machine. And when the day's done you then come along to the machine put it to a charging area and then you can plug it back in. So you charge it up on a 100, standard 110 volt uh, power supply uh, directly into the, into the unit here. And once you plug it in, then you can't move the machine. So this is the only time the machine's tethered, which is a, another unique feature. Can't drive it, so we don't want people driving away and ripping out all the cables. Cool, so maybe you can just give us a quick demonstration of some of the features of the machine, walk us through the cab. I, I can talk to you about it. So we've got the dig end here and uh, this is the standard, the standard on all the machines that we, we make in this generation of machinery. Um, interesting features include the hydraulic system, which is all inside, hydraulic supply system, which is all inside the boom, so it's protected from any, any damage. Um, from, the, from the king post here, which is this point of the, of the machine here, right the way through, all the, uh, all the articulation points have uh, 500 hour greasing bushes in them, so there's a reduced servicing and servicing costs involved in those machines and um, a, a, um, a quick hitch operation here to change the buckets over from different, so you can have different size, sizes of buckets. Also on the front end, you've also got auxiliary system, so you can add on other, other, other operational uh, tools, for instance, uh, breakers and uh, augers. You can also put handheld tools on there as well. Okay, <coughs> when you come back to the machine, the next point you, we talked about was the charging area here. And this charging point uh, fits a, a 13 amp, uh, a 16 amp socket, uh, which connects then to the to the main power supply, and that's the charging operation. Internally, there's no difference on this machine to our, our diesel machine, so an operator that gets in it will see no difference at all. Uh, he's, he, he sits in it and, and operates it under normal normal conditions, so no changes at all. The undercarriage, as I as I said earlier, is identical to our diesel machines. This is a retractable undercarriage on this on this particular model, so it allows if you've got if you're working in confined spaces, you can bring the undercarriage into a to a narrower narrower size just inside the side of the size of the machine, so you can get through smaller gaps. And then when you go back to operating, you pull it out again. Fantastic. Man. Okay, batteries are inside the machine; they're underneath underneath the driver's seat, so nothing to see there. Um, you talked about the batteries. I told you, you you charge it up. As I said, take about 12 hours to recharge the batteries from empty uh, based on the standard uh, 
expand a charging system. We, we will be developing, um, we've nearly nearly got ready, a, a high-speed charging system that will bring that price down, uh, that price, that, that uh, time down to uh, about two hours. When you talk about price, have you heard from people how excited they are that they're not going to be spending money on fuel anymore? Well, that's, <laughs> that's one of the things they've, they've been talking about, obviously. Um, it's... That's the point about the machine. You've got zero emissions and zero fuel use at the point of source. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity for people.